Hello. Hello. Hi. We did it. I know we've done it. I'm well excited. <laughs> I was like, I've been really looking forward to this, but yeah, we, we've done it. Yeah. It's mad. I think uh, thinking about how significant this this is, mm. you know, I know it sounds stupid and it is. It's a bloke watching films with his son, but. Yeah. But you've watched 22 of them, which is... Since January. That's, that's a lot of films. That's a lot of films. Some of them are really long. Some of yeah. them are not so good. Yeah. Uh, but some of them are amazing. And yeah. it's... It's uh, it's funny. I, I You know, um, a few people in my real life that I've spoken to about these films... Mm-hmm. It seems like a common thing that they ain't sitting there watching them on their own. They're sitting watching them with their family and stuff. Yeah, and talking okay. about different bits, and and um, I think this film was a significant one, not only for me and Harry, you know, mm-hmm. but also like Joe was totally on board with it as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know, man, it was I can you know I could see the appeal of the films. It's mad. It's it's much like I, I think about how I compare this stuff to Star Wars. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Like, what? How? How do you feel this is? This has been like as a journey in comparison. I mean, it's a much well, it's, longer I one. I think obviously. it's more fun. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like the first three films of okay, like like of uh, Star Wars. You know, the first three films that come out, they were fun. They were good, but really old. And mm-hmm. then the the prequels were just terrible. Like, mm-hmm. I still don't think Harry's sat through any of those. And then the the later trilogy started fun, and then just sort of got all serious again. Mm. Um. These are just consistently fun, yeah. really, aren't they? So that, uh, not consistently. There's a couple of times where they sort of they went a bit too serious and it didn't mm-hmm. really work. But they pulled back from that, especially in the recent films. I think, like, in, yeah, in the beginning, oh, sorry, in the beginning, in in the beginning, you can feel that they're still finding their feet, like up into a certain point, and then it it, it starts to become. They, there is a formula here that they're yeah. that they're playing to in a big way. <laughs> And it's a very successful one. But I, th- I think about that, and then I also think about what we've done, like how we've gone about doing this, and the journey we've been on through mm-hmm. since I text you saying, "Should we do it?" Because Harry wants to watch the Marvel films. Yeah. Uh, and you know how we kept it quiet for so long from everyone, and then Matt and Sean found out, and absolutely, you know, we nearly yeah. destroyed our relationship. Uh, <laughs> we, we were very stupid, but yeah. Was... I don't know if we were. I just think we. I don't think we were stupid. We just sort of didn't know they would react like thought... that. If we yeah. thought they'd react like that, then there's no way we would have kept it from them at all. Oh, definitely. We thought they would have loved it. Yeah. And it turns out they did not. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, we just misjudged it. I think we were misguided. I think yeah. is the right word for that, James. Yeah. Um. But also, uh, so I've been doing a lot of admin work for for these calls uh, recently mm-hmm. and uh, I, I I tell you this I I started rendering the videos for YouTube and just uploading them right so that we can automate most of this when it when it launches uh, which is crazy because we've never done a podcast like this we've never done a podcast with 23 episodes ready to go before no. we've even announced it right yeah. that's that's a crazy thing to do um so we've just been uploading them rendering uploading them um matt uh made the decision we wanted to at the live show turn around and say uh here's what we're doing it's available now check your phones but there was a huge risk that that, especially with apple podcasts it has to go live and we have to hope that no one finds it and apple Podcasts are making um uh, they're doing things where it's like, hey, you subscribe to this person's yeah, content. You might a lot. like this. Yeah, they yeah, they yeah, have yeah. just launched a new series. Like, and so mm-hmm. the risk of anyone finding out would have just completely destroyed the reveal, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so we've decided to not launch it until after. So we're not going to say it's available now. We're going to say it's available this month. Mm-hmm. But um, so when I was uploading all the podcasts to YouTube, um, I didn't sleep that night at all. <laughs> Because I I don't do YouTube that much, mm-hmm. so and I was uploading them and setting them to private so no one could access them or no one could see them, but I kept having nightmares 
that I'd accidentally pressed the wrong thing and everyone got a notification that there was a <laughs> episode three of Marvel Calls that has been uploaded to YouTube. Mm-hmm. And I just kept waking up and checking my phone, checking my Twitter, it mentions to see if anyone mm-hmm. had somehow come across them. Because you know how sometimes people go into our website and find yeah. stuff that we've put up there that we don't want them to find. Mm-hmm. It's so weird, man. I know that. Uh, yeah, these I've never kept happen. secrets like this before, and I think my anxiety just mm-hmm. it's bubbling away underneath me. Just go, what if they find out? Like but before I'm, they're supposed to. But that's the thing, honey, because I'm, I'm really excited to launch this. Like I think it's going to be. I mean, I'm not looking forward to the abuse. I'll be honest about that. Which about is, getting things wrong and that. Yeah, there's yeah, because there's going to be. This is going to be yeah. much worse than Star Wars. Like way, way worse than you Star think? Wars. You think? that definitely. Like absolutely. You got a lot of abuse for Star Wars, though. I know this is going to be worse. I'm, you I'm think? Pretty certain of that. I don't yes. think. But have you made lots of? Because here's one thing: I haven't really been researching these films. Yeah. So. I have. But then it's like, <laughs> it may, I mean, this film, the one that we're about to talk about, is probably the one I've done the most for. Okay, um, I can't thing. wait to hear this stuff. Okay. Because there's um, one specific part of this that I'm pretty certain you're going to have serious problems with. Right, so, let's yeah. start. Let's talk about the film in a minute. I've got something to play you because um, you asked me to ask Harry a question mm-hmm. on the last call. Can you even remember what it was? Nope. Okay, well, this is this is it. Ready? Here we go. Hi, Harry. Yes. Uh, I've got a question for you to come up on my last call with James Farley. Do you know what a DVD is? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a thing that you put inside a thing and it plays music or a film. Right. Do you know what a VHS is? No. <laughs> yeah. And finally, do you know what a Blu-ray is? A Blu-ray is a thing that you put DVDs in. So you put the DVD in the Blu-ray and watch a film. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's not bad. It's That's not, not too bad. bad. It's, it's, it's not too bad. It's I mean, close. he's eight. I mean, yeah. It's not like he's like four. So, you know, maybe, I mean, the number four, not the superhero. Um I, I, yeah, I, I was quite impressed with that. I was quite yeah. impressed. A little bit disappointed with that answer, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a really? lot funnier, but there you go. You got your answer, James. He does sort of know what a DVD is, although he thinks a Blu-ray is just a player and not an actual disc, which is fair enough. Um, no, no clue what VHS is. Which no, is no idea what VHS is. No, I didn't show him. I, I, I mean, my dad's got one. Maybe I have to show him one week. But hey, okay, right. Let's get to it. Uh, Avengers Endgame. Okay. Uh, I'll say up front. Right, no. Right, so here's the thing. You text me on Saturday and said, I've watched it, right? I was away the weekend. We came home early from our trip away Mm -hmm. to watch it on the Sunday afternoon. Got friends to look after Charlie because it's three fucking hours. Uh, And and we watched it in the afternoon yesterday. Mm -hmm. Uh, I thought... When watching this, James will come to this podcast with loads of things that he thinks that I'm angry about. Yeah. Well, no, no, actually, not not loads of things. There's one thing in particular that I think that you would probably want explained. If I was saying there was three things that I hated about this film, would right. you be able to guess them, do you reckon? Um... I mean, don't guess them now. But Yes, I think I can guess two of them, I think. I- Go on. Actually, I'm curious. I, okay. I think the first thing that I think you're not going to be very pleased about with this film okay. is the way that the time travel works. Okay. Next. I think that's one thing. Next. My second thing is Captain America in general. Okay. I think. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, well let's see, James, yeah. as we go through my notes. Da, mm-hmm. da, da, eight pages, James. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, yeah, I've got like I've got quite a lot as well. It's the know, most we've ever done. But then, to be fair, yeah. page eight is just not. There's not much on it. Right. Okay. Uh, here we go. We are super excited about this, and we have absolutely no idea what's ahead of us. Uh, so, as you know, Harry has seen the trailer. I have not. Mm-hmm. Um, ever since Ragnarok, I think I'm done with Marvel trailers, and I'm happy with that decision. Yeah. Uh, here we go. 
starting with Hawkeye, James. That was yeah, a surprise. I know. It's, it's the Hawkeye opening. Hawkeye it's opening on yeah. uh, on his farm. Yeah. He says he's teaching a girl how to use a bow. It was his daughter. I don't it's know why daughter. I put her yeah, girl I don't there. Why there's, there's no need for that. Uh, <laughs> she's going to turn to dust, I bet. Daughter hits a bullseye. Which one of these are t- going to turn to dust? <laughs> it's, it's all that was going through my head. It's, just, it's all of them, isn't it? Ah, she's <laughs> gone missing. Yeah. Dust time? Oh my god, they've all gone! <laughs> First time I've had any emotional feeling towards Hawkeye, that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm going to say it's it. Terrific. It's terrific. Like... I'm going to say it. Mm-hmm. Hawkeye was great in this film, James. Yeah. I, I, Hawkeye's well, really good in this film. Apart from one thing. There's one thing I didn't like about Hawkeye. His haircut. Yeah, the haircut's are appalling. I it's didn't mind the haircut. haircut. I liked it. I hated it. Added a bit of character to him. I liked it. I had time for it. Mm. Um, although I didn't understand what he was doing, and we'll get to that. Um, uh, but but this scene was horrible. Originally, this was going to be in Infinity War, um, but they decided to stick it at the front of oh, Endgame Oh, they were going to put it at the end, like at the end yeah. credits or something. Because I think, and it's better having it here because it's much more impactful. If it had been, if it had been part of Infinity War, that would have just been like, oh, they're, and they're dead as well. It's you know, a this, really, this, really horrible know. opening, isn't it? And I mean, yeah. superbly done, and really just reminds you of the horrific thing that's just happened. Yeah, especially uh, when you see, like, you know, his desperation and oh everything. Oh god, it's awful. Which is horrible. Well, you, yeah. you know, as a parent, as a parent, you do have, you know, what that feeling's like, where mm. you can't find your kid for like two seconds mm-hmm. and you your heart just goes crazy everything slows down you're like jason jason <laughs> you're like, you go nuts right yeah, yeah. uh and so you could totally relate to that feeling mm-hmm. but you knowing that they are dead now it yeah. horrible absolutely horrible okay okay hawkeye was good in this film uh right okay what an opening though perfectly mm-hmm. explain how fucked up things are that was my next thing Nebula playing paper football with Stark. That was good. That was well, like that was like that. that. Was, it was very yeah, funny. The whole stuff in space. Yeah. Uh, the, the, I mean, the whole opening twenty minutes are absolutely incredible in this film. Absolutely mm-hmm. incredible. Uh, right, Nebula play. Yeah, right. Okay. Stark stuck in a spaceship for twenty-two days. Oxygen mm-hmm. running out of uh, out the next day as he leaves. Huh. What. How many films have I watched? Uh, this is film number 22, I think. Yeah. Why? Oh, that's just hit me, because you said 22 days at the start of the thing. Yeah. Uh, you said 22 films at the start of the call. I did, and yeah. I see, he's been on a spaceship for 22 days, Yeah. and the oxygen is running out in the next day. You don't think that's 22 films and then he's not in the next no, film, No, huh? that can't be that. It can't be that. Well, it's a weird coincidence, isn't it? Well, yeah, I guess maybe. I think you're overthinking that. Uh, probably. It was just yeah. the fact that you. I thought that was the second time I'd heard twenty-two in the space of about ten minutes as well. That, like, that freaked me out a bit when you did that. Why? That, it just sounded horrible. <laughs> it's like you'd suddenly realised something, and it just sounded unsettling. Didn't like it. <laughs> oh no, David's thinking again. <laughs> <laughs> it was unsettling. <laughs> so this is where he leaves a message for uh, Pepper Potts. Mm-hmm. Um, Pepper Potts and Pepper, yeah, Pepper Potts. Pepper Potts yeah. yeah, Pepper Potts. Just as Joe was telling Harry that Stark was dead, something seems to be saving him. So here's the thing: Joe knew that uh, she didn't let me know, but Joe knew that Iron Man was going to die. Oh, shit, that's, right. that's a bit of a shame. Uh, yeah. Well, it was and it wasn't. She was never going to watch the film when she f- found out about this stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think someone warned her because, do you remember at the start of all this, Harry was like, Iron Man is my favourite. Mm-hmm. I absolutely love Iron Man. And then that shifted to Star-Lord a little bit later. Yeah. Uh, but but I think someone warned her because she wasn't watching them with us. Look, just be careful because Iron Man dies in one of them. Uh, don't let him get too attached type thing. Yeah. So she knew. So she was having the conversation with Harry here. <laughs> Look, yeah, it's right, okay, right mate. The you know, yeah. he's a he's a hero <laughs> and all this sort of stuff, and, and then all of a sudden Simon saves him. So she's yeah. sort of like, oh, 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 oh no, oh look, he's uh, he's fine. Uh, yeah, um, it's Captain Cheat Code. Yeah. Uh, Rogers has had a shave. Bet you're gutted about that. James. Yeah, I was a bit, I was a bit disappointed by that. Honestly, uh, he looks so I mean, much better. I know he looks it's like, crap in a beard. I know it's like classic Cap as well, like having the having no. 
no beard and stuff. But I don't know. I like the rugged look. I thought it was pretty good. I did not. Um, uh, Captain's Games Genie flies uh, Stark's spaceship back down to Earth. Mm-hmm. Don't like the character, James. I don't like the character. Which what you mean, uh, Captain Marvel? Yeah. No. I still can't get over how the most powerful superhero came from just blowing up an engine. Like yeah. that was it. And also, I mean, her part in this film is really minimal as well. It is very, very I mean, minimal. On purpose, obviously, because you can't have a character just coming like swooping in like that. Well, and then just you know taking over the film. Just taking over the entire <laughs> yeah, thing. Like true. these guys have had like twenty odd films or whatever that yeah. they would <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Captain Marvel just comes in and wins it. It's like Royal Rumble where the last one to go in just wins. <laughs> it's yeah. like you haven't been here that long, mate. What are you talking about? Uh right, okay. There's a joke for the WWE fans. Okay. Um, Rocket holding hands with Nebula is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, that was when. Where were they? What were they getting upset about? That was when they they'd come down to earth by that point. Yeah. They come down to earth, and I think yeah. every it was doing this whole. You know. That was when they were discovering what had happened. That's right. And how everyone was kind of gone because yeah, they obviously yeah. didn't know the enormity of the whole thing. Uh, Ro- Robert was- Downey Jr. Frau Robert Downey Jr. Tell me about that. The what? Frail, Robert Frail. Downey Jr. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so tell me about that. Was that CGI? Was that? It, uh, yes, the, did he actually, it lose was. the weight? Actually, no, no, the, the weight was CGI'd off, actually, a lot of wow. that. Wow, it looked look. incredible. It did, yeah. It's, it really um, did look like he was didn't have long. Like, it yeah. was, uh, yeah, wow. That was I mean, pretty, that, that whole pretty sequence bad. was quite rough, really, and, like, completely understandable, like, especially, you know, we're up to where he has a go at Captain America here about this. Okay, yeah, start kicking off with Cap here, and yeah. he's absolutely right. Yeah, it a is. A bit of hindsight here, but he's absolutely right, is what I've written. Yeah, it's true, but then also... No. It's not, it's not helpful at this stage. You've it's got to no, it's not helpful, but he needs to say it. Yeah. He said, he said the whole point was an armour around the world, yeah. and you broke that armour. Yeah. yeah. And then he said, oh, what is it? What did you say we're going to lose together? Yeah. Or will we lost? Yeah, we, Look at exactly. it. It's like, oh my God, Stark was <laughs> so good here. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, and Captain America didn't have a fix. That. What's interesting? Oh, we'll talk about Captain America at the end. Because <laughs> you said something in a recent call, and I've yet to see it, and there's no more Captain America. So. What, what did I say? You said, after Civil War, you said, but he does redeem himself later. He does. And I thought, well, I haven't seen him redeem himself yet, and I'm at the end of Endgame. Well, he, he kicks a lot of ass in this film. He does, yeah. But, <laughs> but in terms of his ideology and his decision-making, yeah. it doesn't make up for that, that, right, let's split up the Avengers then. No, but then, again, he was doing what he thought was right at the time with that. Even if, though, maybe in hindsight, it wasn't a great decision. Even in hindsight, it was yeah. absolutely not the right decision. Yeah. Uh, right, plan B informed to attack Thanos and use the stones to bring everyone back. Mm-hmm. How did it never occur to me that that might be an option? Like, uh, there's me going, hey, yeah, oh, so dimensions, and then bring them over <laughs> from another dimension, and then, uh, and then it's the dimension where everyone else dies. And these people survive, and somehow they have an empty universe and a full universe. That's what they're going to do. I never thought, oh no, if they get the stones themselves, they'll click the fingers and yeah, just do it again. <laughs> it's just fine. Do it again. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, that's where you get the opening titles uh, for mm-hmm. the Avengers, just after they form this plan. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're up to the opening titles, right? Uh, Roger's still looking at that old lady from World War Two. Is that yeah. really what's going on? Well, yeah, he's. I mean, he's into that, isn't he? I you mean, know. he comes across as a bit perverse. <laughs> How so? How? Because, wait, because. Look, hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. We got, we got to go through this, this relationship, James. Yeah. So he met her for five minutes. No, right? it was longer than that. It was <laughs> definitely longer than that. <laughs> yeah. He did the whole oh, "I want to dance with you," right? Yeah. Then he got, he died and got frozen. Right. He yeah. woke up. He hunted her down when she was an old lady. Yeah. Went to her funeral, mm-hmm. banged her niece. No, he, he didn't. He didn't do that. What do you mean he didn't do that? Well, he kissed her. That was that was all. James off camera. They banged. We don't know. You can't. You can't start ascribing. No like, need to call me that. Right. He cracked onto her niece. Then is that not right? 
Well, yeah, she does it as well. It's yeah. not. It's then not like she it's... sort of. Then he sort of just. Yeah, but he did it at her funeral, James. Well, I know, but then, no. then in this one, he's just forgotten about the niece, and now he's looking at her again. And know, something cause... happens later on that's even worse. Well, what do you mean? What? How is that worse? Right, I, mean, uh... I know what you're talking about, but you're you're going to be wrong about that. Okay, um, we'll come to that. Why? Okay. <laughs> okay, he's a pervert. You're a he's pervert. He's not a pervert. How is he a pervert? <laughs> he's, he's a pervert. He's just in love. He's just got his his one he's true just love. In, I'm so in love with this woman that I'm going to crack onto her niece at her funeral. He, it was the niece came onto him. I think you find <laughs> with that. I could have said no. Still. Sleep cap alone. Apparently he's worthy now. Let's get to that later. Exactly. Right. Exactly. I don't know, James. Rogers. Right, okay. Stop having a go at Cap all the time. I don't know what your problem is with him. He's brilliant. Captain Cheat goes for recon. This is when they get to the planet where Thanos is, right? So they work yeah. out that Thanos is there was like, oh, what planet Thanos is is Thanos on? And literally everyone knows. So that yeah. took about two seconds to find out where they were. Um right. Uh so yeah. Thanks, the only one on the planet. Oh, Thanos is the only one on that planet, right? I've got, I've got written down yet. Thanos living his best life, you know. <laughs> just... Well, I think he was just like, yeah, he was in. Here's the thing, you know, when he clicked his fingers, yeah. do you think there was a fifty percent chance that he could have died? Probably, yeah. I Why think there was. Be? When the more yeah. I think about that, mm. the more I think, oh, they should have made a point of that. That mm-hmm. that like. You know, you did it for selfish reasons because you saved yourself. And like Thanos could have said, no, I literally could have died as well, but See, I managed to survive. Like that one interesting angle. And I could have believed it if he'd have said that as well, because he, you know, he was really into this plan. Like, yeah, he was. That's the whole else. point. Yeah. So yeah. here he was just going through the motions. Like he didn't care mm. if he died at this point. No, no, because it was all. He, he felt like he'd his done mission. his, yeah, he'd done his yeah. mission, right. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Looks like Thanos is hurt. He's struggling to walk and uh, as he's gathering supplies. Now, we already knew at this point that he'd used the stones for a second time um, yeah. because they'd, they'd picked up the... I mean, it's all nonsense. We picked it up on the radar. Second mm. time. All right, okay. Well, if you picked it up on the radar the second time, then surely you knew where he was then, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, exactly. Okay. Um, uh, but anyway, so he's struggling to walk and uh, he's gathering supplies. Wow. What the fuck? Avengers just show up and batter the fella. Oh no, <laughs> the stones aren't in the gauntlet. Not well, anymore, no. No. Thanos used the stones to destroy the stones. <laughs> hey. I was like Googling the word Google. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, Thanos is dead. Thor chopped his head off. What did you do? I went for the head. Fantastic line. Didn't yeah. expect it. Fucking brilliant. Love this whole entrant. I put, I put in big cup, uh, capital letters, did not expect this to happen. I did not expect. Right, okay, right. And let me say this next, the next note says, five years later, what the fuck? This is incredible. Like, it's so uh, mind-blowing to me that they took the opening 20 minutes of this film destroyed every theory that I had and made it incredibly exciting. Mm -hmm. Like the whole thing is just incredibly exciting to me because you think I've got some idea of where they're going. Mm -hmm. I did not expect Thanos to be dead within the first 20 minutes for Mm -hmm. Thor to just chop his head off for the stones to be gone. I didn't expect any of this. I know, because then you're watching that and you're just thinking, okay, what what, what the fuck do they do yeah, now? What, where do we go from here? Where yeah. do we go from here? I love it. And you know that they... Yeah, look, I'm sitting there thinking, I know they're coming back. I mm. know this is getting fixed. I know Thanos isn't gone for the rest of the film. But it didn't matter, because mm-hmm. I was just so excited and wrapped up in what was going on. And that- it was such a... Like a uh, such an unexpected opening 20 minutes to this film that I was like, brilliant. I, this is this could not be better. See, and that that's what makes something like particularly like really good action as well is where you know that ultimately things are going to work out, but it's when it's intriguing how it's done yeah. that that's what the hook is, you know, to make it. Really My favorite thing about Breaking Bad is that at the end of every episode, you say, "Well, it's done now. The whole thing's changed. Everything mm-hmm. has changed." Mm-hmm. Uh, or you go, 
they are never going to get out of this situation. And they get out, Walter White gets out of that situation. You go, but that was a perfectly logical way of getting exactly. out of it. Exactly. Like, it was really good. But that's the thing. That's not, why there has to be logic, though, there. Otherwise, not quite, so that it works. Not quite you know? what happens here. But we, well, we'll, yeah. we'll get to No, it. there is logic here, but we'll see. We'll it's, see. Um, Five years later, what the fuck? This is incredible. Captain America hosting some sort of support group. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. First complaint coming up. Gone. Rat turns on the reactor thing, and Ant Man yeah. is back. I know I, that I've was got, lucky. I've got, I know, I've got written down here. This whole thing gets resolved because of a rat. Like if the rat had done that, none of this would have happened. It's, um, just, it's all on that rat. I think that was shit. I didn't like that. Mm-hmm. I thought what they should have done is got one of his old, like his old team, yeah. to discover, like find his van. Mm-hmm. And then you know or maybe try and or, drive it off or whatever, or, or try and if work. there was like a failsafe or something on it, which was like okay, it it re- resets or something over after a certain amount of time or something, you know, like so that it gets brought yeah, back. Yeah, fine, but it wouldn't have been set to five years, and you need that gap there. Mm-hmm. But I would legitimately have what's his best mate's name, the funny guy, uh, Louise. Louise. Yeah. If he'd have like been really bummed out that Ant Man was dead. Mm-hmm. And he he finds his van. He finds out he's got his van, and because he's driven that van before, right? Yeah. yeah. So he there's has, a connection yeah. there. And then he finds this thing in the back of it, and then just starts fucking around with switches. That would make more sense than a rat turning yeah. it on. Like I was like, oh come on, man. I mean, there's a whole thing to this, okay? And I'll talk about my complaints about the film at the end, but we'll we'll mm-hmm. get there. Uh, but at the time, I was like, oh come on, right? That was lucky. Uh, of course, everything. Uh, Everyone thinks he's dead. Mm-hmm. He shows up to see his daughter. Gr- great scene where he's just discovering uh, the bit with the boy on the bike was a bit weird. But other than that, uh, like, why wouldn't the boy just go? What are you talk about? Why, why would I he just pick him and then? Well, right, it, that's the thing. Like everyone's like traumatized. Everyone's okay, just like okay. that's a ridiculous question. A bit weird. You know, it's like you know. Uh, but then, yeah, when he goes and sees his name on the wall, yeah, that, that was it. Yeah, yeah, it was really well done. Uh, Captain does whatever she wants. What? Oh, <laughs> right. Captain does whatever she wants and is fucking off to help uh, other planets. Right. Okay. So I don't know what I mean by that first bit. I know exactly what that's about. Yeah. Gore, what is it about? That was when they asked like um, her, like Captain Marvel, they said like, why, uh, why didn't you help us first of all, like with, with Thanos? And then she was just like, I'm off saving other planets. Yeah. I mean, she made total, it made total sense really for mm-hmm. her absence in the, in the last film. Like, uh, she said something along the lines like, most planets don't have you guys. Yeah, you know that's what it, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I've got to, there's a whole, like, universe out there. I need to protect other places, you know, mm-hmm. um, which I thought was great and kind of explains why she fucks off in this film. Uh, fine, fine. It was, you know, just to get rid of that character, really. Uh, Natasha trying to find Hawkeye, who seems to be trying to keep up the whole superhero routine. <laughs> Well, no, he's not. This is um, what, yeah, Joe and I had an argument about this. So, okay. uh, I thought he was avenging, mm. but Joe says he was just a bad guy now murdering people. Kind of, yeah. Like, okay, so what he is, is he becomes this character, which they don't explain this in the film, really, um, but it gets explained in the Hawkeye TV series, like, in more detail. Is he the becomes... Hawkeye TV series set between when we lost him, no. like, when he retired and this point no it's it's set after after endgame okay okay and it because it addresses this this part of the story um Mm -hmm. so what he is is he's a character called he becomes a character called called ronin who basically goes another ronin yeah um he goes around uh sort of targeting like yakuza and like organized crime and things like that and brutally murders them Mostly, so right. So he's a, he's a good he's doing good things, but bad things but in in yeah. a horrible way. Yeah, like yeah mostly, yeah, yeah. And, and it's yeah. because he's taking out his anger um, over what's happened right, on all okay. these people. And gotcha. uh, yeah, okay, um, okay. Ant Man shows up at the Avengers base. They're talking about time machines, James. Yes, they are. Uh, yes. Stark is okay and has a kid. Right, so this is where we see mm-hmm. that Tony Stark has moved on. He's got a family. Everything Hang he wants. On. You've missed the whole bit with combined Hulk. No, no, no. That's coming up later because I definitely wrote... Yeah, yeah. That's coming up later. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, Stark's got his kid and everything. Uh, They show up and Ant-Man is talking about a time heist. So this Mm -hmm. is where they approach it. They approach um, 
Tony Stark. Uh, he's now suggesting the Back to the Future rules. So this is the whole. Uh, yes. Yeah, this is the whole argument about the rules around time travel, right? Yeah. So the idea is that this is setting up that if you go back, get the stones, and bring them back, it doesn't change the past because you're in a linear timeline. Um, whereas you will be setting various other limited uh, linear timelines away from that point that you change things, right? Yeah. So this is based on, because I looked all this up, Go because on. I thought this was going to be a thing. Um, so it's not based on the same as Back to the Future. Like, and, no, and no. Back, to the, fu- back to the Future, yeah. The, the, I'm so, thinking about Doc in front of a blackboard going, yeah. oh, the other reality. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's none this, of that. This is based on a real theory in quantum physics, right. which is the it's the many worlds theory. Like it's this idea that the universe that we live in at the moment is just one of many other parallel universes. Yeah. And that there are many of these. Oh, so yeah. if you if you change something in the past, you create a new timeline, which then branches out from the original timeline. Yeah. So nothing that you do in the past affects the main timeline anyway. At all, like your own timeline, it doesn't yep, affect yep. that because it's because you're on a linear forward exactly. motion in time, yes. so you yeah. can't change the past, but you could change someone else's past. Exactly. Yeah, yes, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. So that that's how they. And the thing is, is this because this whole multiverse thing is where the whole thing's going after Endgame as well. Shut it's up. Like, you know, well, Why no, did no, you tell me that? No, no, because this is this is like an important like sort of plot point with this. Um, I'm where sure they, I would have found that out in a later film. Yeah. No, uh, you, you, uh, you, you, you wouldn't. It's uh, it's a whole thing. <laughs> Yeah. So the only the only thing though that they need to make sure. Um. I oh know we we know we have to come back to that later. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um, I, yeah. I uh, do you mind my thought on that? I don't really cool. care if that's how mm-hmm. they want to do time in this one. Totally fine. No objections from me. It's not as fun as the Back to the Future stuff, is it? Um. Not really. No, because it doesn't have consequences in the same way. Like yeah, it does have consequences, it really but but they're different ones. So it's. Like, I mean, I wrote down here when they were explaining this. That I didn't think this was very well explained, actually. Um, oh, like I thought it was, was pretty working. well explained. Like, you got, the, I got it. I got what mm-hmm. they were saying, right? It made total sense. And they sort of drum that home. They sort of explain it throughout the film. It's not just in this one bit. They yeah. sort of explain it here. It's a linear thing. If you change that in the past, it doesn't change your, yeah, your, 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 uh, your yeah. present, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought that was fine. And then later on, it was explained with the, uh, um, the person that taught Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. She goes into uh, about timelines branching yeah. off from that point, right? So I think it had enough in it. What I'm saying is that the Back to the Future rules are way better, way yeah, more they're, fun, they're more entertaining, yeah. way more it's fun. Like... You change something, <laughs> yeah. and then all of a sudden, you know, something yeah. weird happens when you go back. And like I like that. It's a mm-hmm. shame, but there you go. Whatever. This is the rules it's going with. I mean, this also creates one particular huge potential plot hole, which I don't know if you noticed in this film. Yes. Go on, tell me now. It's to do with Captain America. And... Was his beard? No, not not the beard. No, it, go on. We'll get we'll get to it at the end. When he fights I'll, himself. No, 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 no. No, what then? No, it's to do with 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 him and Peggy. Oh right, okay, yeah, get to that at the end. We'll yeah. talk about Peggy at the end. Um, Stark turns him down. Tad selfish, I put. Uh, yeah, it was a bit t- like it, it was selfish. Yeah, yeah but I get it's I, understandable. Like, I know. <laughs> I know, obviously, it's not understandable at all. I don't think. Well, okay, if you're if you're thinking the lives of everybody on the line, then yeah, that's not that's not understandable. But and then it's also- not Tony Stark either. Tony mm-hmm. Stark would. Oh, I know they were trying to go. Hey, look, he's got everything that he wanted mm-hmm. now, and he doesn't want to sacrifice it. Like I get yeah. that, but but when you're putting it up the enormity of saving half of the universe from yeah, dying, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Then. I don't think Tony Stark would have made that decision, but whatever. probably probably not. But it's still it still is it still be a horrible decision to make. You know, like if you're potentially yeah yeah losing your child or whatever and that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, for sure. You know. Right. Okay. So we're we're, we're in the cafe now. Banner mm-hmm. is now half Hulk. Yeah. Uh, and is taking photo with photos with kids. <laughs> <laughs> that character's had a wild ride, hasn't he? It really has because it it this is. I mean, I felt. I, I don't mind like combined Hulk. I think he's fine, and it just felt like they didn't really know what to do with this character at all. No, they and really this, did. I don't. I didn't mind him. I think yeah. I preferred him in Ragnarok. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that was where he was a really, yeah, really top tier 
uh, mm-hmm. character. Whereas here, I, I didn't dislike him. I just thought, what a weird sort of journey Hulk has been on throughout these movies. You know, first yeah. of all, really broody, really struggling with his anger and going down that angle. Mm-hmm. Then you had, I don't know, it just... Like they, he suddenly become just a comedy character, well, didn't he? It's because they never really commit, do they, to any of the personas that no. they brought to what, the table. What happened to that whole big angle about the Avengers have to try and, you know, every time he loses it and goes nuts, they have to try and control him. Yeah. So they've got these things in space that crash down and try to cage him and all this sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. What happened to all that stuff? It's just I out mean, of the window now. Really, I mean, he needed another film. Really, I think. For, for there to have, if they wanted to develop the right. character, they needed uh, something, I think, to sort of show yeah, further development. Yeah, I think you might be right. Um, uh, but at the same time, I don't know if I'd have watched it. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But, I mean, the stuff with the photographs is funny, uh, especially because nobody knows who Ant-Man is. Yeah, I Ant-Man really like that. Good. Yeah, do you want a photo of a beat? No, no, no. He's like, no, go on. He's, yeah, it's Ant-Man. <laughs> and all that. I loved all that stuff. <laughs> and then he was like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to have a photo with you. Like, just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, they don't want a photo with Ant Man. Uh, Stark has right. Okay, second big problem, James. Mm-hmm. You get this right. <laughs> they go to Stark and say, "The quantum realm, you can time travel." Yeah. Right. You just need to conf- control it. Yeah. And that evening, Tony Stark works out how to time travel. I know, that it, evening, it's ba- I know it's it is a bit bullshit, isn't it? It's I was like, like I was sitting there watching it, and I yeah. just thought well, it's not going to be t- tonight. Like maybe yeah. it'll go forward <laughs> another five years or something. Because because yeah. he he's sitting at his little desk or whatever. Yeah, and this then he's just suddenly the like, day that oh, he yeah. said he wasn't going to do it. By yeah. the way, he's sitting at his desk and he goes, "Oh, I'll try one more thing before I go to bed." Oh, you have discovered how to travel through time. <laughs> it was a bit like, uh, that's convenient. Yeah. It's, it's... <laughs> really? really? He's, 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 he's worked out how to time travel, has he? Yeah. That's that's yeah, happened, yeah, is it? Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Fine. Uh, okay. So he did that in the, the evening before going to bed. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit silly that Stark has worked out time travel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Scott being sent to the past, come back at different ages, just funny. I mean, yeah, it didn't make sense, but it was just yeah. funny. Yeah. Um, and it, especially the line about it, he doesn't know, like someone's pissed in his suit. Yeah. He didn't know whether it was baby him or, or old adult. Him. Yeah, old, old him. Old him. Yeah, old yeah. Old him. <laughs> yeah, I could see, I bet, shit, man, what was the reaction to this film? People loved it, I assume. Yeah, people really loved this film. Right. Yeah. Did anyone, like, kick off about the time travel stuff in this? No. Really? So, no, it, this that was not like a big away. thing at all. I thought people would have gone, well, how comes he comes back as a baby? How would no, that No, no, there wasn't. This, the, the, okay, the response to this film was pretty much universally very positive. Okay. Like, really positive. And also, there's some things I want you to watch after we've done this like okay. that are just like, amazing. But, okay, yeah, okay, all right. Right, okay. It. Uh, right, interesting chat with Stark and Cap about uh, how he wants to bring everyone back, but yeah. his priority is to keep uh, what he's had since Thanos. So mm-hmm. that makes makes total sense it makes sense with the rules they've set out with time yeah, travel do that. Yeah, yeah and it makes sense with uh you know stark's uh motivations that mm-hmm. i don't mind bringing everyone back but don't let me lose my family like again we are talking about trillions and trillions of life forms tony mm-hmm. and just you and your kid I, I i mean you know i think cap was just like okay mate and sort of just winking. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Don't yeah. worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, don't worry about bringing the kid photo of the kids. Don't worry about yeah. that. We'll leave them here and let's go. Stark gets Cap's shield out of his boots. So this way he turns up in his yeah. uh, thing. Uh, he seems to have fixed it too, but there's no mention of it. I was quite surprised. Well, I thought he said that he made it. Like it was that he he built a new one. It was in and it was in his garage. I'm pretty certain that's Did what he, he says. Yeah, I'm pretty certain he says he says I, I got made this for you. It's it's a new shield, I think. It's not right. like the, it's not the original. I've got a question about that. Mm-hmm. Something that's been bugging me since I think it was Iron Man two or maybe Iron One. I might not even be the first one mm-hmm. where Tony Stark pick. He's gathering some. He's going through some crap in his lab. And yeah, he finds and sort of like yeah. a half made. Um, Captain America shield yeah. and we spoke about it on the sh- on my call and you said don't worry that's explained later and that's been in the back of my mind for ages now I've watched this film I still it's don't get shield. it it's that, it's that shield 
What do you mean? I don't know if it is. It's <laughs> he hadn't met Captain America at this point. No, he hadn't. And it's, I mean, those pieces and parts and everything for the shield, it kind of makes sense that he'd have all of that because he'd inherited all that stuff from his dad Don't. and his dad had made all that stuff And before. he just left it in the lab for, for years and years and years, yeah, not yeah. knowing what it is. That's, that's, that's Fuck what off, mean. James. You said to me, wait until later and all of this is explained. It's not, is it? No, it's not. You're, you're, you are out of order. I was wrong since, about that one. Since watching the first film, that's been in the back of my mind and going, I can't wait to find out what happens with, how does that shield get in there? You should have told me earlier that you just lied. I'm just looking it up to see if there is a reason. Go on. <laughs> I'm just having a look. Oh, I can't believe Which you've film done was it? Was it in me. Iron Man or Iron Man 2? There we go. Um, Captain America's Shield. An, a prototype of Captain American Shield Captain America's Shield can be seen in the workshop when Pepper Pops walks Pepper Pops. Pepper Potts walks Pepper in Pops. on Tony trying to get out of his damaged armour. The shield is visible in the distance below Tony's right arm. Right. Now, let's find out why. Okay. But I'm um, talking about the sort of half-built one that he uses to balance something on. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah, it says here, Phil Coulson finds a prototype replica of Captain America's shield in Tony's house. Stark uses the prototype to level his homemade particle accelerator. That's it? Yeah, it's a prototype. There you go. A prototype. It's in fact exactly what I said it was just a minute ago. You say- said I was talking bullshit. What well, you're saying that it's Howard Stark's prototype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's left it loose yeah. in his lab. Yeah, why not? For decades. Yeah, why not? Because that's bollocks, James. And well, that that's is- what it says. That's what Marvel say. So that's you, is that, that what Marvel say, calling, or is it a website saying Marvel, I like Marvel films? You're calling Marvel bollocks. Yes, I am calling Marvel bollocks. Actually, there's no way that on the day Tony Stark said I am Iron Man, and then they went with it. There's it, no that, chance that did happen. No, that did happen. Are you, you're you're going to be you're going to have egg. On your face. I don't think I will because people go, look, this is here's a clip of uh, Robert Downey Jr. saying that that's what happened. Yeah. You you don't think that he might have been paid to say that? (laughs) Do you know what I mean? Fucking hell. Right. Right. Okay. So you let me down with that because that's been in the back of my mind for ages and there was no answer. Well, now there is an answer. It's a prototype. Right. Okay. Okay. But you said you find that out in a later film. Where did we we in the film did we we see it? We just found out. We just found out. Where in the film did we see it? Um. We found that in New Asgard. Love how it's just a little fishing town now. This is one of my favourite bits in the entire film. Thor. Thor is fat now. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> Can we just get something out of the way quickly? Go on. It's weird that in Iron Man Three, they did PTSD and really sort of like tried to yeah. address it. And here they made made PTSD uh, a, a comic relief moment. They in the did. Film. Yes. It's they a bit weird, did, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I was just like, oh, oh, right. Okay, we can laugh at this now, can we? Okay, fine. With you that, got, you got you got call calling with that, Master Sixty with that, Nine saying calling him a dickhead. With that out of the way, <laughs> this whole scene was fucking hilarious to me. Yeah, just Thor mm-hmm. wandering around with a big belly, drinking booze. Yeah, Korg amazing already. Arguing with Noob Master on PS Network. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fuck. like he, he called me a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then when he picks up, Thor takes the headset off him and goes, yeah. "Listen to me." Little yeah. shit, he's like having a go at the stuff. But also, when he's like, he's going yeah, around saying, saying like, "Oh, the cable's out," and it's like <laughs> <laughs> he comes to repair it and stuff. It's more good yeah. that was. Uh, Fat Four is hard to watch, to be honest, but this is a fantastic scene. Yeah, uh, yeah loved loved this whole bit. Really, really funny. Um, in fact, I just love Thor now. I, I can't believe it. I and cannot also, believe that I like this character now, but he's brilliant in this. He, he's also got one of my favourite bits in the entire film at the end, which I just love. So I've watched it three times this okay, evening because well, well, it just made on. me laugh so many much. Yeah. All right, uh, gunfight happening in Tokyo. Oh no, it's not just guns because Hawkshite is here. I don't know why I'm calling him that <laughs> here because I like him in this film. Yeah. Uh, why is Hawkeye just killing everyone? We've spoken about that. Yeah. Fat Thor... Walking into the Avengers base, Harry mm. said, ha ha ha, mum, you used to fancy him. <laughs> <laughs> Joe said, still do. <laughs> A bit of fat never hurt anyone. <laughs> That's That's what what she said. Said. I loved it if he said, oh, you used to fancy that. <laughs> <laughs> 
changing the past doesn't change the future. So this is, yeah, back to the future is bullshit. So that's the conversation that we were referring to earlier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hawkeye sent back to his farm. Why here and not just anywhere else? What a fucked up thing to do to Hawkeye. Yeah, I think they were just trying to... Yeah, I don't know why they... That was really messed up. Okay, yeah. we're going to send you back, back in time. Uh, we know that your family are dead. And I'm really sorry about that, but uh, we're going to send you back in time now. Psh, where did you send him? <laughs> See his family again. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you won't be able to actually talk to them or anything. No, no <laughs> he won't make it to the barn. Look, <laughs> look at his GPS, time GPS tracker that we suddenly got from Tony Stark. He's just about to get to the barn. Now, and you're back in the room. <laughs> Paul McKenna shit. Uh, right. Uh, they just said everyone had been in touch with a stone. Yeah. Not the soul stone, though, right? No, but then that's later, isn't it? That, that, that no, no, but like, so this is the scene where they're sitting around a table, you're mm-hmm. seeing images of all the people that died, and then they're talking about, they're starting to form their plan about going back in time and getting the six stones, right? Yes. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, at one point, I can't remember if it was Captain America or Tony Stark turns around and says, everyone in this room has been in touch with one of these stones. Mm-hmm. And I went, not the soul stone, man. No, I mean, the only person line? who... Who had was Gamora, but then she's gone uh, at this point. Exactly. So she she wasn't around that she wasn't in the room. So that yeah. that's the most irrelevant point you've ever made in your life, James. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Thanos has. Uh right. Th- oh. Hold on. What? No, they have been in touch. Of course they have. Who? Because they were they were there when it was in Thanos's glove. Well yeah, obviously, but they can't go back to that time, can they? No, but that statement then is probably I don't know, right? <laughs> Thor explaining about the reality stone. I know, Thor is I like now that. excellent. <laughs> Especially he was just talking about Jane and then started just rambling yeah. and just and going all over the goes, place. When he goes, when he goes, uh, uh, and for another point, this is the re- it's not really a stone. So can we just stop referring to it as a stone? <laughs> <laughs> and they go, okay, Thor. No, I'm not finished. <laughs> <laughs> All that stuff. <laughs> Loved it. I just thought it was really, really funny. A plan being formed about grabbing the stones at various points, uh, different points throughout history. Mm-hmm. Fat Thor is my guy. Uh, yeah. Here we go then. Right, okay. So they all walk up in that little slow motion thing. They get on the platform. They all go back in time. Oh, amazing. Back to the Battle of New York. Yeah. Hulk pretending to act angry was funny. Mm-hmm. Didn't quite understand it, but who cares with Hulk anymore? There's no logic to him, so no, it's fine. It's just, yeah. but I think it was just to try and fit in, wasn't it? Yeah, but it, it was yeah like, like, why did they say, quick, oh, act like the Hulk? Yeah. Why were they doing that? Well, no, because they were, they were trying to blend in, weren't they? And so it's like, you but need to be like But the rest of them weren't. Then. They were just sitting in the alley watching Hulk pretend to fight. I know, but they don't have to be all angry, do they, to blend in? That's what he does. Oh, okay. That's, that's his USP. Oh, it's a bit weird. But in uh, that film. I mean, it changes <laughs> in every okay. film. But yeah. Okay. Uh, right, okay, but it was a funny scene where he was just going, ah, just hitting the cars and stuff. Yeah. Um, meeting the woman who can punch the ghost out of them. Right, okay, so this is where she punches Hulk. Yeah. Uh, and Banner. Like, <laughs> again, the whole ghost talking stuff. It's not the best part of the Doctor Strange universe, is it? No, not really. No. Uh, back in Asgard. Uh, we all cheered when we saw Loki in his cell. So this mm-hmm. is uh, Thor going back in time. Again, I get why they did it, but they didn't really think it through that maybe sending Thor, a drunk <laughs> Thor, back to see his dead mother yeah. again might not have been the best idea. Who was with him? Rocket, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Rocket. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah. Rocket, Rocket yeah. Thor went back. Uh, I said, this is all excellent, by the way. Or, like, I love this stuff. I, do you know, one of my favourite films is Back to the Future 2, and one of our main reasons for that is the bit where they go back and revisit scenes from Back to the Future 1, but you see yeah. them from a different angle. There's that's, loads of that in this. Because that's always the sort of thing that, I don't know about you, but I kind of wish I could do that. You know, like, you could, like, go back in time and you can see things that have happened before, but you're seeing it from a different perspective or something. That's absolutely fascinating. Yeah, that is. I absolutely love it. And all right, yeah. they didn't plan it too much, but they, I think there's enough... There's there's a fair few flashes of it where you see scenes from the original films that they're going back to mm-hmm. and the stuff that they've added to it looks realistic enough. I know there was a lot of moments where it was like, 
the team in front of generic wrecked cars in New York. Yeah. Like, and there was like a bit of that going on. Yeah. Um, but the, the stuff in Asgard where, where Thor talks to his mum again was absolutely superb. Yeah. Uh, uh, right. Okay. Rocket said Thor's mum is really gone. Like James said, Loki, Loki was the other week. Do you remember that? Yeah. Well, that, that version of him was really gone. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know, but like, I just some of your language and the way you talk about these films comes out. Like, I realise why you say things the way you do now <laughs> because they're in these films. Mm. Okay, Thor balls it and runs off. Uh, now on Morag, which one was Morag? That was the. This is the. Uh, where's Morag? No, that is that the place with the Soul Stone. Yeah, I think it might be. It looks like Gamora from the past is sharing memories. No, with no, no, the no, present no. Gamora. No, that's that's yeah. This is the place. Yeah, that that's what that's about. Yeah, it's with Nebula, isn't it? Um, right. Where, yeah. So yeah. I think I've written Gamora, but I need. Um, I mean, you mean Nebula? Nebula. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, this bit I didn't quite understand. So Nebula is now in back in time with another Nebula, and they're both thinking the same things. Yeah, they're kind of like linked somehow yeah um, presumably through technology or something i don't know i didn't hate it's, it uh, yeah. it needed to be done but at the same yeah. time i was like well it was that, that whole really thing was sense. like the whole the whole of that was the key to thanos like for the rest of the film like yeah. that had to happen yeah yeah, yeah cool. well i mean they could have done it in a different way but mm. like okay I, I didn't hate it i just like didn't understand it um stark and rudd trying to get the inf- infinity stone mm-hmm. uh cap in the lift again Hey, I yeah, mean, like oh, this. This oh, is. Love, I, I wonder scene. why you put so much emphasis on that limp, on that lift scene. Because it's fucking brilliant as yeah, well. Yeah, but, but but also, I think you liked it more because of this film, right? Yeah, it's yeah, more yeah, significant, yeah. right? Like when you watch it, it's just an action scene. Like when you're actually watching that film, but now yeah. you know that they go back to it and it's really important. That's when you go, oh, okay, yeah. So Cat plays it differently this time. Yeah. Um, and he says, "How does he stop?" Oh, he does going in there. I don't know, but he does. Yeah, how would that is a good question. That is a very good question. Because he doesn't have have the fight until later. No, the fight does come later. That's a good question. I don't know. Maybe that were they going in a different direction? No, no, no. This no, this must be at a different time or something. Yeah, I I don't know. Like this is them going up and then. When Cap goes in there, he's going down. I was like, I don't know. Yeah. But he turns around and whispers into one of their ears, Hell Hydra, which, yeah, uh, yeah excellent little moment there. Mm-hmm. Uh, really good. Uh, oh, my God, Hulk knocks out Stark. Loki has the Infinity Stone. Yeah. Uh, Cap versus Cap. So he's James, I put James definitely jerked it to this scene. <laughs> confirm, James? It, it was good. It was a good scene. It, yeah. was, a good ac- it was a good little action scene. Yeah. <laughs> It was a lovely little action scene. Yeah. Get Captain America fighting Captain America. Did you, did you or did you not jerk it? I did not. I was just enjoying the fight. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I right, we'll leave it at that. Uh, Ghost Banner explaining that to save past realities, they will return the stones. Yeah. So that's just a little bit of plot point setting up there. Mm. Uh, Banner mentioned Strange gave the stone to Thanos. Mm-hmm. So she changed her mind. Okay, this is all the stuff we talked about in the last film where he'd seen 16 million ways this could end and, you know, there's only, only one, one way movie. that yeah. it could actually work or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, so she, she knew that Doctor Strange had a plan, even though she'd never met Doctor Strange. Apparently, she could just she just knows what's happening. In the she knew he was coming or something. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I knew you were coming during the cat uh, versus cat fight. Uh, Morden is back. <sighs> I mean, he's not back. He's in the past. I, Okay, um, mm-hmm. Mordin! <laughs> like that character. It's good to see mm-hmm. him again. Uh, I don't know his real name, though. What was his real name? I can't remember. I mean, exactly. Um, but yeah. Thanos has found out about the time travel plan. Uh, that's unfortunate. Thor speaking to his mum. Oh, that was such a good scene. Like, funny, oh. but also incredibly sweet. And I loved it. I think that Morden's name is Corvus Glaive, but there you right, go. Okay, let's just call him Morden because okay. I'm not calling him Corvus Glade. Glaive. Right, okay. Names in these yeah, films him. are so bad. Yeah. They're terrible. I can't believe that, like, Marvel are just so shit at naming things. I can't believe that they named Bad Hawkeye Ronin the mm-hmm. same as another character called Ronin, unless that one didn't 
exist in the comics. I don't know, whatever. Well, no, because it's the it's it's a wanderer, isn't it? And that's what he's become. I know, but don't call it's lazy, characters but... the same thing. Yeah. Hulk. Which Hulk? No, Korg, I mean. Uh, Hulk, yeah, but let's just call him Hulk because mm. he's kind of Hulk as well, isn't he? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> right, sorry. <laughs> that, that us has found out about the time jump plan. We know that. Right, yeah, yeah. Full speaking to his mum. I love that scene. I thought it was really good. So mm. if there was a big contract dispute, James, how oh, comes Jane Foster this. is back in this? Oh, I've got an answer for this. Go on. Uh, basically, that is a scene that was filmed for Thor The Dark World, and they just added Rocket into it. And it was it was a scene that was that was not used in oh. Thor The Dark World. So they, they used that. And uh, yeah. did she get? She must get paid. She got money. It. Yeah, she got paid for it. Oh, and, she uh, got yeah. paid for it. So she didn't. She didn't film anything at all. There was no filming done. Although, I, I checked. She did turn up for the premiere as well. Even oh, though she? you know, oh, well, you uh, would though, wouldn't you? I mean, it's the biggest movie of all time. It's like John yeah. Terry yeah. in the in the <laughs> Champions League final. Of course, you're going to put the full kit on, pretend that you played. Uh, Thor's mum told him to eat a salad. Brilliant. Love that line. I love the the, the Thor and his mum seen in this was just superb i thought yeah, really well done it funny was sad, though, loving it? Like, when she was just all like you know like you know the time hasn't been kind to you and all yeah. that kind yeah, of yeah, thing. yeah yeah just like it was, yeah, it was and she knew instantly and she knew she was going to die yeah um, yeah it, it was just yeah it was perfect yeah he gets his hammer back of course he does didn't yeah. even cross my mind until it happened at no point did i think he's gonna get his hammer back because why would he like why would i think that well, I guess if I had half a brain, I would have known that was coming. Mm-hmm. But it was still cool that he got his hammer back. I really like that. Uh, but this is so good. Yeah, I think out of all the travel through time bits, mm-hmm. this was the best in my book. The Asgard bit, yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I honestly believe that. I think the Asgard bit was the best bit, which is nuts because that film was so shit. But <laughs> But I just felt it had the right amount of feeling and... Uh, poignance and comedy and it had everything in it. I just thought it was perfectly done. Um, I, although this was amazing. <laughs> Peter Quill doing his dance. Mm-hmm. So they go back to where Peter Quill gets the power stone, stone the power yeah. stone. Yeah. Uh, and he's doing that bum, 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 bum. The first yeah. time we heard the music, we were like, we know exactly where they are and what's going to happen. We all started cheering and going nuts, like genuinely. Mm-hmm. And then when you get to see him from outside of the headphones, absolutely hilarious. Mm-hmm. So do you know, you don't seem that bothered. No, no, that, that was great. And then he just gets punched in the face. Yeah. Total, the, yeah. total highlight of the, one of the highlights of the film for us. Mm-hmm. Cause we were just barely the way he's sitting there going, eh, what's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. And he just gets punched in the face. Proper funny. Um, yeah. Right. C- Gamora's hand got mash up. Um, that's when she tries to get it's the power neb- stone neb- that. Nebula again oh yeah it was <laughs> Nebula why do I keep getting the names wrong uh, Gamora didn't go back to the future no she didn't Nebula did uh, yeah. Nebula didn't the, the other one did yeah the uh, other one did instead yeah. It's uh, yeah. back to New York Stark and Rogers have a plan 1970 New Jersey right so the idea was they ran out of the stuff that they need to time they need, travel. They need more pin particles. But they managed to work out that they could go back to a place where they got pin particles and uh, the Infinity Stone in yes. one place, right? So, yeah. yeah, fine. So, 1970, New Jersey. Wait, was that a Stan Lee cameo? It Explain, was. Explain, please, James. It was that okay. That is the last Stan Lee cameo right. that you're ever going to see. Okay. And also, it was done like digitally. It, he, he was, didn't film yeah. That. I mean, he looked incredible. Was, but, but yeah. What happened again? I can't remember. He's, he's like, he, he was, he, he was in a car. 70s, he was, he was in a car, wasn't he? And he yeah, said, yeah, he like, was, "Hey, the seventies, baby," or something yeah, like that. Yeah, he said that. Yeah, yeah. And because also they they used all like photographs of him in the seventies and copied the whole style, so, so it looked mad like that him. They could do that stuff, isn't yeah. it? I mean, we saw that in the Star Wars films as well, didn't we? Like, yeah, loads but of times. It, uh, yeah, but yeah, like, it wasn't always great. Like the way it was done was never, never that good. No, well, this one, I think it kind of works. Good. Yeah, no, it worked better on this one. Uh, Iron Man breaking into the base uh, to take the Tesseract. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Stark meeting Howard Stark. So this is Tony mm-hmm. meeting Howard. Uh, young Douglas stealing some of his stuff uh, they can make to make more jumps. Okay, fine. 
Christ, Cap is now perving on Carter in yet another decade. <laughs> How many decades is he going to perv on her? He was just out, like, he was looking through the With window 40s, wistfully. 70s, you know? yeah. 2000s. Mm. Actually, that's only three decades, but that's enough. He was just looking through the window, wasn't he? Like, you would. If you see, like, an ex-girlfriend or something, you'd be like, oh, I wonder how she's getting on, you know? <laughs> yeah, but she would have been 30 years old of them. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. Christ. I get the hate. I don't get it. <laughs> He's a pervert. Uh, right. Nice scene with Stark and his dad. That stuff was great, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's all a bit, you know, cheesy or whatever, but it was great. Nebula versus Nebula. Mm-hmm. Oh no, now Thanos can time travel, I think, <laughs> is what I've written here. Because he takes out the the pim thing yeah. from her head, Nebula's mm-hmm. head. Good Nebula's head, right? Yeah, the, yeah, the good one, yeah. Okay, Hawkeye and Black Widow. Go, sorry, this is just plot points that we're going through here, but I'm yeah. sure there's more talking points later. Uh, Hawkeye and Black Widow going for the Soul Stone. They yep. both want to be sacrificed because, of course, they do. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, they're taking this a bit far. They keep saving each other. I thought this scene was a little bit silly. This this is the part of the film that like, my daughter Rachel hates. Like, Why is absolutely that? hates this. Because she, she every time it's like, why wasn't it Hawkeye? Why didn't he die? <laughs> oh, really? really? She, she hates that it was him that, that didn't die. Oh, uh, right. So, you know. Okay. Um, <laughs> what do you think of this scene? It, yeah, it went on too long. This did it and did, got a bit it? ridiculous. It got yeah. a bit silly the way they just yeah. kept saving each other. Final bit where they're both hanging from the thing was incredible, I thought. Mm-hmm. But it's the running off and tackling each other, running over and tackling yeah. each other. It was like, okay, come on. Yeah, we get it. You're both good people. Like this yeah, this yeah, was I'll also see. the this was also the point at which I wrote down Hawkeye's haircut is awful. So, yeah. <laughs> I put Black Widow wins slash dies. <laughs> yeah. uh, Hawkeye wakes up in a puddle with a stone. Everyone back except for Nat, yeah. right? And good Nebula. Mm-hmm. Bad Nebula is here though. Yeah. Uh, Nat not coming back apparently. There's a film though, so not sure about that. I'm assuming it's set before this, uh, but we'll talk about that later. Mm-hmm. All six stones are together now. Yep. Rocket goes boom in. Oh, this is right. So this is where they're putting all the stones onto the gauntlet they've got, right? Yeah. A rocket, just as they put the last one in, rocket goes boom. <laughs> that makes it <laughs> much up. Love rocket. Uh, rocket, eight, rocket, See, rocket, great. But this whole scene, I was just thinking, I was just like, I've written down here, put the glove on and click the fingers. Yeah, I know. They do take it's a little just... bit of a while. So yeah. Arguing over who wears the glove. Hulk has to be the one that wears the gloves because the radiation is gamma, apparently. Don't know where he got that from. Where did that come from? That was just added in, oh, was it? Oh, they probably just scanned it or something. It was like, oh, it's <laughs> it gamma was just, radiation. Oh, no, the radius radiation's a gamma. I'll, I'll do it. I was like, yeah. okay. Hulk wears the glove. Thanos clicks his fingers. Mm-hmm. What? Right. I don't know why I've written that. No, because Hulk, clicks, Hulk his clicks his fingers. Hulk his fingers, yeah. Okay. Don't. I'm writing these as I'm watching it. <laughs> don't know if it works yet. Thanos is now in the timeline, though. Mm-hmm. What? No, Thanos comes directly to the planet That's now. That's right. Yeah. Thanos comes to the planet now, just after I... he clicked his fingers, wasn't it? See, I, then... wrote, I wrote down, clicks his fingers, now Thanos levels the place. Yeah, so, so <laughs> Ant-Man walks out, doesn't he? He hears all the birds and all that yeah. sort of stuff, and then Thanos just, yeah, absolutely smashes the place. Hawkeye gets a call from his wife, that was it, and then Thanos starts shooting the base. Mm-hmm. Hawkeye finds the gauntlet in the rubble. Thanos shows up. Gamora now wants to turn against Thanos. I don't really get the original switch, to be honest, let alone this one. What what do you mean? So, this is, Gamora has been brought to this timeline by Thanos. Yeah, she's been been brought, yeah, with Thanos at the the same time. And now, I don't really understand the first time she turned on Thanos and joined the Guardians, right? But in this one, Mm -hmm. I don't get it either, because it's just like, oh, Nebula said. She was well. No, she was always like wary of Thanos anyway, and didn't plan to go ahead with like supporting him. That was never right. her intention. Okay. And so this just speeds everything up, you know, so that yeah, and Nebula basically confirms, I think, what she already was suspected was going to happen. Okay. Uh, I'm willing to overlook it. I'm willing to mm-hmm. overlook it, James. Okay. Thor now has an axe 
and a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Avengers showing up to kill Thanos properly. Uh, there's a lot going on here. A Hawkeye uh, with the stones versus the monsters, Rocket and the War Machine drowning. Uh, the Avengers versus Thor. Mm-hmm. Thor, Thanos. The Avengers versus Thanos. Uh, Nebula has the stone. Gamora showing up. Men shoot Neb. Who sh- shoots Nebula? Okay. So what you mean here is it's Nebula kills Nebula. Right. I mean, right. Neb shoots Neb. Right. Yeah. But yeah, but, but, but I wrote men so shoots the, Neb. The good Nebula kills Nebula. That's right. Yeah, the bad one. How did she get back? I can't remember. Who? I don't know, actually. That's a good Oh, I think she was on a ship with Gamora, wasn't she? Yes, she was. Yeah, she was being held up, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, Big fights. Iron Man KO'd. Boss, get up. Was that Spider-Man? When? Right, so Iron Man gets... Iron Man gets punched, right? He gets KO'd. I sort of half heard it, so I wasn't sure. Mm-hmm. Sp- Spider Man goes to Thanos. Thanos hits him, knocks him out, and then Iron Man hears something in his helmet that goes, Boss, get up. But hang on, you've missed out. Like, hang on, are you saying Spider Man's already on the field? No, by no, this no, point? he's not on the field. This is before everyone shows up. Right, okay. Iron Man no. gets hit, he gets knocked out, and he, someone says, Boss, get up through his headset. I don't remember that. I'm going to have to find it because it, I'm just almost certain it Yeah, happened. see if you can find it because I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. I'll find it uh, and then I'll send it to you. Um, Thor in trouble. What cap can use the hammer? He can. Yeah. How and why, James? Because he's pure of heart. That's this why. This is my third angry moment. Look, this bit was fucking brilliant because they already established this in Age of Ultron as well. Did when they he on? nearly started to pick it up. Yeah, but he didn't and... pick it up though, did he, right? So what has he done between then and now that makes him worthy? Was it when he decided to go against the United Nations and go as a... Well, as a... It, it seems that whoever is in control Renegade? of the hammer like believes that that is a pretty worthy because, thing to do. Was it because... Was it because he kept perving on his girlfriend over no, several it's different because, decades? It's because he's pure of heart, and he was, and he was the he right was person. Pure of heart. Was it when he decided to trust Buck, even though he clearly murdered hundreds of people? Yeah, but he had he no still, reason his to. Heart was in the right place, I don't and he know was if doing it was, what he James believed was the right I thing. I think he was more worried about his friend. But it was a fucking a brilliant moment where oh, he picks no, up that was. hammer. Look. Yeah. It was fucking great when we yeah. were watching it. We all cheered. We all cheered in the front row, but. After the cheering died down, I went, what has he done to suddenly get him, make him pick it up? If you give me one good answer, if he, listen, we'll go if with it. Thor is worthy, it. If Thor is worthy, then Captain America yeah, Thor's always is. been worthy, right? I, I agree with you. Thor is not a worthy guy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like, I, and I also think it was kind of cheapened because Wanda's already picked it up. Mm-hmm. Or Vision. Which one? Vision. Vision did, yeah. Vision Vision's picked already it up, picked yeah. it up, so it's kind yeah. of like, okay. So That's there's three people that can use it. pure and worthy as well, wasn't he? <laughs> okay, so it was okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> I mean, put it this way, Rudd is not going to be picking that thing up. Rudd is not going to be picking that up. You, you're right. absolutely right there. Um, okay, but no, that was, look, I'm not going to lie. We all we all loved it. We all cheered. You know Especially what I mean? When he was doing the shield and hammer combo and yeah, all that kind of thing. The, the, fact, the, fact, the way they did it where something where the hammer comes out of nowhere, smacks Thor, uh, Thanos, uh, yeah. and then you see it rumbling and it comes back and then you see who grabs it. You're like, yeah, brilliant. It was brilliant. It was... Mm-hmm. Here's, right, I'll say this now. These complaints that I've got about the film... They're mm. all pointless twaddle that I don't really give a shit about because yeah. I fucking had a whale of a time with this film and I've got so much respect for it, but we'll mm-hmm. we'll get to that at the end of it, right? Yeah. Um, okay, Vibranium ain't shit against Thanos' sword. Yeah, because yeah. you've got Vibranium, uh, it, the Thanos' sword is just like ripping through everything. Yeah, because it, it smashed, like, his, I've got down here, like, you know, his shield gets all messed up yeah. and it's because, yeah, it's, it's just his, uh, yeah, his well, sword. Well, no, it makes sense that yeah. he's found a material more powerful more than, than Vibranium, vibranium yeah. right? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I get that. Uh, massive alien invasion uh, has shown up. Cap hearing something on the radio. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so, so that's where, um, uh, what is it, uh, Vol... What's his name? Oh no! It was What's Sam. his name? It's Sam. Sam who? Uh, what's his name? Falcon. Falcon. That's yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's Falcon when he says on your left. 
And you hear him say on your left. Beautiful, you know? beautiful yeah. moment. Love that. Uh, and then Black Panther comes through the uh, the the thing. This, They're all alive. Everyone's back. Let's fucking this, go. This is the bit that when when we're done with this, you've got to go on YouTube and do like in just type in like end game reactions. Okay, right? okay. And it's cinema reactions to when this happens. When he, we we hear it go on your left, and then like just the cinemas erupting. Like, I'll be honest it's, it's with brilliant. you, James. I'll be honest with you. We just went ballistic throughout this whole part yeah. of the film. <laughs> Every, like, there's three of us in that front room. We made so much noise. We go, yeah, ah, look, oh, it's him. Hey, like, we were just cheering and cheering mm-hmm. and cheering. Fucking love it. it just and you got like, it. yeah, you got like um, all the guardians turn up. Yeah, you know, all, all the gu- oh yeah. my god, when Peter Quill swoops in, we were yeah. like, yeah. Yes, mate, come on. Uh, see, and this, but you see, this, this is the thing, right? We've watched 22 of these films. Like, this is this is like film 22. Yeah. And it's like, this is the huge payoff for all yeah, of that. This is like, getting through this all This fight of those. scene is the yeah. absolute payoff. I mean, this whole film is. And the fact that they stick the <laughs> landing with this as well is incredible, really. Gonna get to that. Yeah. Huge battle. Everyone kicking off. Thor, give me that. You have. The little one. Oh yeah, this. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. this is where <laughs> this this is where not only is uh, Captain America obviously picked up the the hammer, he then picks up the axe. <laughs> and the Thor turns to him again. Give me that. You you have the little one. <laughs> I like, just like that. Really funny. Still manages to get Thor gags in there. Uh, yeah. Winter Soldier is just shooting people with a gun again, though. Mm-hmm. Most pointless thing in this. Hey, he was he was loving it. I think he was having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's what's that. He's got a metal arm made of vibranium. I'm sure. I'm to sure pull it did some damage to somebody. You know? <laughs> I'm sure it did. Spider Man has a moment with Iron Man. This is where they hug. Quill sees Gamora. Another like we're just talking throughout this. The three mm-hmm. of us. We're just talking. Like Joe turned around. Like Quill's on the floor, and he and Joe just goes, oh, "He's going to see Gamora," and then it pans out and he sees Gamora, and we're like, "Oh, yeah. I love that! It's ridiculous." <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha! Of course she doesn't know him. Like we didn't. Yeah. Uh, that didn't even click. Like yeah. <laughs> the thing. So she, he goes over and kisses her, and she just beats the shit out of him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought that was great. Um, that was well, that, it. And there was there that, was line, that line, line, wasn't there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With, when it was like it was, it was, it was either, either him or the tree. The tree. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they could have taken that one step further. Mm-hmm. And Gamora could have said, "Well, what was wrong with a tree?" Like, yeah. like I just think they should have added that. But whatever. Uh, Wonder battering Thanos, rain fire. So this is where Thanos shouts out, "Rain fire!" Yeah. And they just like shoot everything down. Oh yeah, why isn't Captain Cheat Code back yet? Oh, here she comes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I like this though, actually, because no, you know, no. like how all those ships start to turn away from yeah, Earth, to, and to, you're just yeah, like, shoot them. They're like, why are they doing that? And it's like, obviously, they've seen a much bigger threat like yeah, coming yeah, at. Yeah, them, I get which that. Was pretty good. I get that. Um, all the female superheroes. Uh, Joking together, uh, to t- uh, joining together to take on the army. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I love the fact, right? Here's the thing what I like, really liked about that. Joe squealed at mm-hmm. that. I know my nieces absolutely like adored that bit where mm-hmm. all the female superheroes got together in their own shot and they had their own moment to kick ass, right? And I just know that some people got pissed off with it. <laughs> and I just love it. I love it. I love people yeah. sitting there just going, oh, of course they've done that to tick box it. Fuck you. I hope yeah. you really hated that scene. I fucking loved it. Uh, and yeah, yeah, I love the stuff like that. It's just such a big middle finger to all the fucking idiots. Harry keeps calling the gauntlet a goblet and it's making me laugh. <laughs> oh, where's the goblet? Harry, <laughs> Harry, we've been through this a hundred times. It's gauntlet. Yeah, the gauntlet. Where's the gauntlet? Oh, Hawkeye's got the goblet. No, not the goblet. <laughs> Thanos gets the goblet back on. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Marv tries to get it off. Thanos uses stone to smash her. Uh, uses stone to smash her. Yeah, he uses one sense. of the Infinity Stones, doesn't he? Too. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Iron Man uh, gets the gauntlet, clicks fingers. Bad guys turning to dust. Oh, I've missed out the bit where you missed out the bit Thanos where he says, clicks the fingers. Yeah, well, no, he tries to, but then it it doesn't. Yeah, and come it doesn't up, work. Does it? And he says because he says I am the inevitable, or whatever. He clicks his yeah. fingers, it doesn't work, and then Iron Man shows that he's got him on his suit now and yeah. says I am Iron Man, and, yeah. then, clicks and then clicks his clicks fingers. His fingers. Yeah. yeah, very good moment. Um, uh, I mean, that sort of stuff you don't really need to talk about, do you? It's just a really good moment, no, it's but just also yeah. a bit cheesy. So, you know. Yeah, but whatever. who gives a fuck at this point? Uh, like, I don't give know? a fuck. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Um, 
Right, okay. He clicks his fingers. Bad guys are turning to dust. Thanos sits down in exactly the same way as he did at the end of the last film, Mm -hmm. though, but with a different expression on his face, um, and then turns to dust. So, yeah, I love that. I love that mirroring of, oh, we saw him sit down like that when he won, and Mm. now we're seeing him sit down like that. Now he's lost. I I just thought that was a nice little moment, really. Uh, Mm -hmm. And then he turns to dust. Tony's dying. Tony's dead. (laughs) Okay, fine. I oh know, but that that was also like we know when, when Spider Man turns up. Yeah, okay. And he's all just like you know, okay. we want Mister Stark. And it's just like okay. oh. Hawkeye's family are back. Yeah. Uh, Parker back at school. So do all these people know that it's five years later? Well, they yeah, this, yeah. This, yeah, this all gets addressed later. But yeah. yeah. Wait, Ant Man is back with his ex wife. That was a bit of a turnaround, wasn't it? Really, I don't remember that. Yeah, they're all cuddling him, his ex wife, and his daughter. I don't remember that. that I don't remember happen, that. Doesn't it? Did I make that up? Yeah, because I don't remember that. Sure, there's a scene where they're all like hugging, like they're the same. But and that bloke that she was with just isn't there anymore. <laughs> don't remember that. But <laughs> maybe, okay. maybe, maybe Ant Man said, "Look, when you're killing all the bad guys, can you also, or well, ex-wife's husband, new husband? I, you know, I, yeah. I mean, we love each other now, but a while ago we hated each other. So if you could just <laughs> dust him as well, that'd be great." Uh, right, okay. Um, Stark's funeral, funeral. Joe's crying. Harry seems okay. I've mm-hmm. got a tear in my eye. Um, Harry was okay. He, he cried a little bit, but if you remember about three films in, I told you Harry got spoiled something at school. Yeah. It was the Iron Man dies. So he knew already. Okay. He knew Iron Man was going to die. He didn't know it was going to be this film. He didn't know when it was going to be or whatever. But it was inevitably going to But happen. it was inevitable yeah. that uh, Iron Man. Yeah. So I think he'd come to terms with it beforehand, you know. Yeah. He knew it was happening. So he didn't get, like, he cried. We all cried. But, um, uh, I, yeah. I mean, to be fair, Hulk in a funeral suit stopped me from, like, proper <laughs> blubbing. <laughs> it was so stupid. <laughs> it did look ridiculous. Yeah. 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 Um, it also that that was the first time in the film with him where, where I just thought you look really CGI here, like you <laughs> yeah, don't yeah, yeah. you don't look part of this. You don't at look all. part of this at all. Uh, Nick Fury, Fury with a needless entry yet again. Yeah, everyone at the funeral, right? They're all paying their respects, and then out of the shadows in the barn, <laughs> he walks out to the feet. It's like, all right, Nick. He's just stealing the scene. It's what he does. You <laughs> Can know? you just be there, please? Yeah. <laughs> Thor looking out over the coast. Mm-hmm. He makes uh, Valk king of New Asgard. Yeah. Thor joining the Guardians. This this is the bit that's my favourite, almost my favourite bit in the whole film, because it's Go fantastic, on. this scene. You know you know when he, you know, when he first gets on the ship? Yeah. And then he's just, like, throwing his weight around, and yeah. then he's like, as Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> and then he starts, oh, like, I didn't even notice he said that, of course. <laughs> that was more funny. He was like, as, as Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. And then he was, and then he was just, like, calling him Quail as well, which yeah, was, yeah, he yeah. said, a quill. But yeah. then also that whole thing where he just kept on saying, like, who was in charge? And he was like, he was like of course. Yeah, you're, of course you're in charge, you're of, course. In charge. of course. And he just keeps and then he just on, keeps like, touching the map. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then also he keeps, like, looking at him and going, of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, yeah, it was really good. It was so good. I mean, Thor joining the Guardians is my favourite thing, like my yeah. favourite idea of all time. I just think he just fits so well in with those characters now. Yeah, uh, yeah it's great. Cap now needs to return all the stones. Mm-hmm. Uh, f- he'll be back in five seconds. And then I put, he went back to grow old with Carter, didn't he? I said, uh, man on the bench. It's an old man Cap. Surprised he didn't say, I made the dance, or something awful yeah. like that. He gives the shield to Falk. Mm-hmm. Wait, what about the poor fella she married and had the kid with? Well, we forget that. Didn't well, no, happen, th- that's the thing. That's what I was talking about with the plot hole. But that I've got an excuse for that. Okay, well, we'll get to it. Hold on. What's that? Oh, no. We're actually seeing him making that dance. <laughs> I don't know what you've bit. got against like Steve Rogers' happiness. I don't know what you've got against it's it. It's just a bit like out of everything. It was just that woman that you sort of knew. He more the, than the sort first, of knew her. He didn't more than sort of know her. James, they walked together for about a week. We don't know that. It could have been months. You never know. Even months. You turn around and go. I need to find someone in my own timeline. 
Yeah, but well, so, well, it had a profound about, impact on him, you know? When I'm thinking about finding the love of my life, I'm thinking, should I think about someone who's like in a different timeline or, or has been dead for fucking years? Or, or should I think about somebody in my timeline? I think, I think I'd choose somebody in my timeline. Certainly wouldn't get off with her niece oh. at her funeral. I mean, that she came on to him. It's not his fault. <laughs> Do you reckon he mentioned that? Hi, <laughs> I'm back <laughs> from the future. I kissed your niece. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Right. Well, I don't want to see not, you anymore. Not, she, she did it. Is that I made the dance? <laughs> uh, look, no, look, look. I joke. It, it was a sweet ending, uh, mm-hmm. and it made sense. You know, you got to. He'd mentioned that fucking dance so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I kind of had to end like that. Finn. Harry gives this a 10 out of 10. Of course he does. Well, actually, I didn't write down his real answer. His real answer was a million out of 10, and I wasn't having none of it. Um, best bit, when Iron Man clicked his fingers. I thought that was so sweet. Yeah. yeah. What an answer. There was no post cred stuff, right? No, none. Yeah, yeah, film, I, didn't, I didn't see any. That was the end. That was the end of... Uh, right, my overall thoughts of this, James. Mm-hmm. This had uh, some things that were just ridiculous in it. Um, it didn't really matter, though, because you'll never experience anything like this ever again, I don't think, mm-hmm. where you've had all this build-up. Like, and it, I can't imagine what the hype around this film must have been like. It must have been sick. It was enormous. Yeah. yeah, it was like, yeah. And they actually made it work. Yeah. Like, they genuinely made it work with this amount of characters, with this amount of plot to, to address, mm-hmm. with it, I, the length of the film was ridiculous. I don't know how they could have cut any of it out. You know, a I few mean, scenes they could have got rid of a few minutes of, but that was about it. Like, what I liked about it structurally, though, is that. Oh, we've got onto what you think of it. No, that's fine. Go on. No, no, I'm just following up on that point like the, the <laughs> fact of like cutting stuff out and everything is yeah. that like structurally you've got basically like an hour you've got a, a story in each hour really you know as this as the film goes on and yeah. i and that that really stops it from getting uh from getting tedious <laughs> yeah quite in a big way yeah um i i, I thought uh it, it made me think of um empire strikes back a lot uh mm-hmm. because i thought infinity war was very much like empire strikes back and uh, then I thought the follow-up to that is loved by millions, and it was Return of the Jedi, mm. and that was not quite as good as no, following up as a film as... like that as what yeah. this does. Like this absolutely nails the follow-up to that. Absolutely yeah. nails it from from the surprises, like massive s- surprises that I would never have expected, uh, f- right the way through to the ultimate conclusion of the good guys winning, mm-hmm. um, the sad ending. The the fact that now you look at where these characters are are, are at now, mm-hmm. and you think, okay, Iron Man's dead, um, you know, Gamora's dead. No, is Gamora dead? No, no, she's she's no, not she's dead. Alive. But there's, she's there's been another brought forward. Yeah, it's the other version. Yeah. Uh, so Nat's right, let me do it. Nat's dead. Iron Man's dead. Cap's done. Yeah. Um. Like they're they're big characters, so th- this core, was definitely an end to something, wasn't it? Yeah, the core of the Avengers, the original Avengers team, is is over now. Yeah, basically that's it. You know, and yeah. that's why they did. I mean, they did that. You know, the touch at the end with the like the signatures, like that. You know, you know, in the credits, did you see yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, did. And you? that that was stolen from Star Trek VI, um, which they did that. In <laughs> that as well. really? <laughs> yeah, because that that was the last film that the original Star Trek cast were in. Yeah, and at the end of the film, they have like their their signatures, like all the all the actors and stuff, and they were like, "Yeah, we're going to do that." Um, I can't imagine how hard it must have been for Robert Downey Jr. to have, have shot this, like especially that ending, because this saved his life essentially, right? Yeah, like he he was in a bad way, and mm-hmm. they took a chance on him, and he nailed it, and he was fucking fantastic. Um, and then this is the end of it. This is him saying, "I'm done." And also, I mean, this is one of the other bit, bits of like trivia that I picked up from reading about this was that he was the only actor that was given the entire screenplay for the film. Oh, like right. no, nobody else knew what was going to happen, but he did. Like he had the he had the whole thing. Um, I the guess whole they thing trusted there. him. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I. I. As I said, 
like those silly things that I'm moaning about in this film, they just they're so insignificant to the overall achievement of what they do, the, they did with this film. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was I was pretty blown away. Uh, yeah, did I was you, pretty blown away. Did the length of the film bother you at all, or did you just feel the time flew by? Because for me, I felt no, it the didn't. Time flew by, I think really. it only bothers me in that. I will never sit down and watch this film again from start yeah, to finish. That's, that's never going to happen yeah. again because I will watch chunks of it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You know, I might watch it again over two or three nights. I'm not sitting down and watching the full thing again. It's too long. And yeah. here's the thing, right? Did did they have intermission in the cinema when you went no, to see this? Not when I saw it. No. That's, I think that should be illegal. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, no, I'm not even joking, James. I yeah. genuinely think that should be illegal. Like, mm-hmm. So we saw The Hateful Eight in a, a special showing in um, uh, Uptown in central London yeah. uh, where they played a, a special version of the film and it was three hours long. It had a 15-minute intermission. Mm-hmm. And it, brilliant. So we got an hour and a half in. Yeah, everyone went to the toilet. Everyone come back. The second half, an hour and a half. Brilliant. You weren't worried about how you were going to piss yourself. None of that. It was perfect. Mm. They should say... Any film that's over two hours, there's an intermission. Go and have a piss. Like, I genuinely think that should be a law in this country. I think, yeah, it, it certainly would have been better, I think, to have done that. Because especially, like, if you, I mean, we didn't see this with the children. But if we had it done, like, I can't imagine watching yeah, this with, like, the kids. You can't you know? have gone three hours without needing a piss. You can. No, you can't. Not you if you're can. getting your big old... F- oh, mate, I barely last an hour and a half. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, unless you're horrendously dehydrated as a human being, James. Well, no, you just just don't don't drink while you're in there. Oh, it? you cannot not drink though, man. That big old big old cup of. Well, no. What you Pepsi. do is you get you get like the you get your popcorn or whatever. You sit there and you eat that, and then Chen gets the um the drink, and then I just have sips. Do you know of what? That. I've stopped doing that. I've stopped really? buying that stuff. Because mm-hmm. it's getting to the point where it's like fourteen fucking quid now. Yeah, it is. So insane. I'm just taking a bag of bag of big a big bag of M and M's in <laughs> with me and eating them. They smuggled in. They're proper like, you know, old. Like you. You're allowed to do it, I think, aren't you? Yeah, probably. Yeah, all of a sudden you are. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, it is ridiculous. Anyway, what are we talk about? We talk about Endgame. Absolutely fantastic. Completely like it feels freeing that we're here now and yeah. that I'm not watching another one of these films. I like. I would not recommend people doing it the way that I've done it because I think you do need time to mull over these films, to think about them, to watch, get second or third watches in before mm-hmm. moving on. And I think I'm going to leave it about a month now before I move on to the next one because I think I'll appreciate the next film more yeah. if I if I put a lot of, lot of time between it. You know, I mean, the, yeah, I mean, the next one is is the last part of this phase as well, and then then God we... knows where they go. Like, I'm really interested to see if they try and set up another epic run of films yeah like and if they do that's going to be hard to beat i mean i probably shouldn't tell you anything should no, i don't at this stage no, so i no, won't no. but then also the other problem now is that this is starts to get to the point where the tv stuff becomes a thing um because it fits in with all of this stuff i think like we lo- might do like it so and harry turned around stuff. to me the other day and said i want to watch one division mm. and my brother-in-law said you, really, you need to watch One Division if you want to watch the new Doctor Strange. Yeah, that's true. So I mean, if, I'll probably watch them with him. The thing with One Division as well is you've got to. The only thing I would caution you with that is about the the first three or four episodes. You'll I've be watching them. this no, and I've just thinking, them. "What the hell is I've this?" I've seen them. You know, okay. I told you, right? So, so Matt and uh, Sean were talking about it, and they mm-hmm. made it sound fascinating. I think they talked about it on our bonus show, mm-hmm. um, on the computer game show bonus show. And I was like, oh, I've got to check this out. It sounds wild. And I watched the first three and I thought, this is great. Look at all this mm-hmm. mystery. And then the moment it snapped outside, yeah, I was like, oh, this is rubbish now. I don't care. But that, but that may change now that you've seen all this stuff. It absolutely will. I know it will. Yeah. Because the, the, one of the main characters, when they first snap outside, is the scientist from the first Thor film. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. when I saw that, I was like, oh, my God. Wow, it goes this far back. And also the other guys in it is the um you know the the government not the you know the like the government agent or whatever that that's looking after Iron Man yeah no Iron Man after after Ant Man rather yeah yeah he's he's like a main oh of course he well. is yeah 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 I yeah. remember oh but here's the thing right mm-hmm. <coughs> um 
Uh, oh shit! What was I was gonna say, yeah, I don't know how Vision returns then. No, you don't. Because Vision is totally dead at the moment. BB. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not saying anything, but no. um, yeah, there's. I mean, if if you look at the series that there are, I definitely want Division. I'd watch that. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, you could skip that, I think. Yeah, and no, also, no, that sounds watching, horrendous. Because you, got, I mean, the only thing about that that is interesting, and it is interesting, is because you know, like at the end of this film, Sam's given Captain America shield, yeah. and there's that whole thing of like you're Captain America now. Yeah, and a lot of the series is actually talking about like for him from like you know from his from like a black perspective, could can he should he be Captain America basically? Right, does yeah, does yeah. America does, struggling with Mer- yeah yeah no, yeah that it does that represent sense. his values and all that kind of thing? And it's yeah. it's 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 quite interesting from that perspective, but then also other parts of it are quite dull right, and okay. are not are not so interesting. Well, you're gonna have to tell me when. I need to watch these because I don't know when I'm supposed to be watching them. Yeah, I mean, let's have a look. Uh, let me let me get Spider Man out of the way, and then we'll do, yeah, have I'd a think about them and discuss it later. Yeah, because some of these I definitely would watch. Like, definitely watch Loki because it's great. Oh, uh, we love Loki. Yeah, we'll Loki is very good. Is thought? Uh, no, don't tell me. Um, don't tell me. Yeah, I will watch that. I will. Watch yeah, that. Loki is Loki is good. This has been how long it's cool, though. I'm just conscious that we I've been going for an hour and thirty minutes. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? But it's a long film. It's a long and, film, uh, and it's—I mean, it's this. As you said so many times, this is a culmination of everything, and it's uh, yeah, so far, and it's great. Well, yeah, it's, it's a culmination of these films, but also of what we've been working on for the past. Yeah, it's crazy. Three, three or four months, isn't it? Three or it's, four months. Yeah, no longer than that. We started in January. It's now the twenty seventh of June. Wow, well. it's mad. We started mid January. If it was to January the sixteenth. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. You can do now, um, which probably will please Harry. You can watch, watch what, what if. if now. Oh my yeah. god, he's been banging on about what if. Yeah, you can watch. I want to watch it. I want to watch it. Okay. Yeah. You see, looking at this, looking at what's already come out for the TV stuff, you only need to watch two series at the moment, and then, or, or maybe one other as well, if if you want to or not. I mean, Why? I liked it. Well, you got One Division, Loki, and potentially Hawkeye. Um, oh but, my which, god! Okay, yeah. but there you go. Right. Mm. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I'm going to have a little break. We are going to announce this in five days' time. The yeah. world is going to know that we have been doing these podcasts. I mean, it's pointless me even saying this because people are going to hear this till like December. So, yeah. uh, Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> you know what? Do you know what there is at Christmas this year? There's the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Is is coming? You're kidding. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I need yeah. to catch up then before yeah. that comes out. Yeah. Oh, Guardians, man, they're the best. Right, okay, I will catch you next week in yeah. this fake timeline. Yeah. <laughs> in reality, it will probably be about a month's time, James. All right. It will be, yeah. We can watch Spider-Man and, uh, yeah. Goodbye. I'll see you see if, see if sat Friday. Friday, see Friday. Yeah, see Friday. Yeah, in yeah. the flesh. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> it's all right. See you later. Goodbye.